Hello guys, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's show, I am smoking up some beef short ribs on my Yoder YS640 pellet grill, so stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. So we are cooking up some beef short ribs here, and I've got about 9 pounds of beef short ribs. I'm going to assume that this one over here to my right is probably 5 pounds or so, and this one here is about 4 pounds. Um, this is definitely the media rack of the two. And I will be removing the membrane in the back of these. Um, real simple, guys. Again, just like, just like you would your, your um, pork ribs. And you can hear Ranger in the back. Grab a uh, paper towel and just pull it off, guys. And a lot of people don't like to do this because they say that it doesn't matter. You're not going to eat the bottom side of the, of the rib anyway. But to me, guys, if you, if you remove this you see this the smoke will not penetrate this guys this is a really tough membrane uh, a lot tougher than what's on your pork ribs so I like to take it off for the reason that that I think the smoke will travel through the meat and um, you'll end up with a smokier rib for sure um, not a whole lot of fat that's gonna have to be removed from this rib oh, man, come on oh, there we go guys this is tough I mean you can jump off a building with this stuff um, it's really, really tough. Again, not a whole lot of trimming down here. On the top side, I do have some silver skin that you can see here, guys. So I'm just going to get my one of my small knives here and um, go right under that silver skin, just like this, and just you know pull it off, guys. Let me place this down here and just slice across. Try not to take off a whole lot of meat, just like this. Just kind of push up at the same time and um, it comes off pretty easy. Guys, again, this silver skin is pretty tough on these beef, uh, beef ribs, so I like to take them off. So I'm gonna trim these up, guys, and I'll bring you guys back. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. So I've got the ribs trimmed up. Um, I did leave some of this good fat on there. I know that will render. These are probably gonna cook for seven hours, um, and uh, I've made ribs before, um, but they were uh, select uh, ribs. These are actually prime ribs uh, that I got from Costco yesterday, and it's got some really nice marbling, guys. So the trick with beef ribs is just to cook them a long time, make sure the fat renders, make sure the meat gets nice and, and tender on you. Um, on these racks, guys, I'm going to use my SPG mix on this one, and I will be um, putting some rub on the bottom of the ribs. I will leave a link up here on the uh, top of the screen uh, where I did make this um, SPG and uh, it's really, really good, guys. You guys can check out that video. But uh, just pat it. Again, not a, whole, not a whole lot of people will rub the bottom side because you're not going to eat this, but I think that it's going to give it some good flavor. And then go ahead and grab the top. Give it a good coating, guys, because this is a big piece of meat. Um, and it can take it for sure. So it's going to have some nice color. I do have some paprika in my SPG uh, seasoning, so it's going to give it a nice little red color, just like that. And again, the last time that I made these ribs, guys, I didn't like them because I don't think I cooked them long enough. Don't forget the sides, just like that. All right, guys, so let that sit. On the second rack, Gonna grab some of this garlic jalapeno seasonal. Get both sides of it. And I'm gonna use a victory lane beef rub as well. So guys, I'm gonna finish seasoning these uh, ribs up and I'll see you guys outside at the smoker. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we are outside at the smoker and again I have my smoker set at 250 degrees. I am using B&B &B, uh, mesquite pellets and let me give you guys a quick look here. Just on the top rack, getting nice and smoky and at 250 degrees I'm going to get some nice smoke on these. So I will be spritzing every probably hour and a half with apple cider vinegar mixed with water at 50%. So stay tuned guys. All right guys, welcome back. So the total cook time right now is at two hours and 45 minutes and I haven't touched the lid, I haven't spritzed it or anything. So let's take a look and see what we look like here. Hot, hot, hot. 
Let's see if we can get this in closer. There we go. So, man, they're looking good. Look at all that pullback on that smaller rack. And the big rack, it's starting to pull back as well. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and spritz it. Again, apple cider vinegar and water at 50%. All right, guys, and just in case you're wondering, let's take an internal temperature and see what we're at. I'm going to guess uh, 130. Ooh, I was off. 161. 157. Smaller rack. 167. 161 but uh, you know they're probing kind of tender already but I want to take these to at least 205 degrees guys again I want them to fall apart so um, stay tuned guys we'll be back another probably another two hours we'll be back stay tuned all right guys we are at the four hour and 45 minute mark now and this is what the amazing ribs look like Got some really extensive amount of pullback from the rack on the right uh, over here. And this one on the left is holding steady. So um, internal temperature right now, again, at the 4 hour and 45 mark. Let's just get a reading here. One fifty-five. Whoa, it's a little lower than before, but I'm okay with that, guys, because I'm just trying to get these nice and smoky 170 ah, 152 so looks like they've stalled out a little bit now, again I'm okay with that I just want to get some good smoke flavor on that so I'm not going to try to wrap these um, we'll check in about another hour and a half and see what the internal temperature is doing I have spritzed it a couple of times again with apple cider vinegar and water mix it 50% and uh, this is what we look like guys overall so far I'm, I'm pleased nice color again gonna try not to wrap them uh, but uh, we'll check in about another hour and a half and see where we're at on temperature so stay tuned all right guys we're back and we are at the six and a half hour mark right now and my internal temperature is 172 I got enough color on these ribs guys so I'm gonna make an audible and I didn't want to wrap but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap guys so again we are at the six and a half hour mark Wrapping right now, internal temperature is at 172, so we'll be back, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. So the total cook time, guys, was nine hours, and again, I let the temperature get to 205 degrees internal temperature, and then they were resting for about 30 minutes. Um, this is the one that had the garlic jalapeno seasonal and the beef rub from Victory Lane, and this is just my SPG mix that I put on the big rack. And I actually lost a bone on this one already. It's like barely attached, as you can see here. Like there's just a little piece of meat hanging onto it, which is awesome. But um, I'm sure they're both going to taste really good, guys. But I, I want to slice into, into these and see what kind of smoke room we got. And uh, oh my goodness, look at this, guys. It is like butter. Craziness. Oh my god. Oh my gosh guys. Look at that. Just a beautiful smoke ring on that thing. Real nice and tender. Look, look at that. Look at all that juice coming out of that thing. <laughs> so man, really impressed with it guys. Um so I'm gonna slice up a couple of these, take my uh, thumbnail picture, and we're gonna give these a taste. So stay tuned guys. Alright guys, welcome back. So I've already sliced up the ribs and they smell and look amazing guys. The smoke ring is awesome, really tender, really juicy. So I'm going to give this a bite guys and uh, we'll see what it tastes like. This is again, this is my SPG uh, seasoning. So cheers. Man. Mmm. Wow, guys. 
knife. This is extremely tender. Mmm. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Just like shreds. Give some to my camera lady. Give that a shot, baby. This is insane, guys. This is so delicious. Look at this. I mean, it just shreds like like butter. Mmm. Guys, I was really tempted to pull them at like the seven hour mark. They were they were temping about 179 ish, but I knew that I had to get them over 205 degrees to get this to happen. If not, it wasn't going to happen, guys. It was going to be too tough. So I, I, I waited patiently. I got to tell you, this Yoder did an absolute amazing job um, with this um, with these ribs. I mean, you, you cannot get, you can't ask for better bark. Okay. And I'm just going to yank this corner <laughs> because it's so tender. But look at this. Guys, mmm. Amazing, amazing ribs. So, give them a shot, guys. Do not rush them. I've seen a lot of videos where people where people cook ribs, and they're not tender. They bite into it, they slice it, and this kind of it tugs like rubber. Guys, be patient. Good barbecue is about being patient, taking time, let the smoker do what it does best, and you get these results, guys. So, hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Ask any questions, guys. I hope you like this video. Till next time, Joe is smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See you guys. Hey guys, want to bring you guys back for a quick minute. We didn't give the uh, ribs with the Victory Lane uh, rubs a try, but bigger smoke ring for some crazy reason. And my daughter and I absolutely love this one. This one is really good, guys. The one with the SPG, but this one with the um, Victory Lane rubs. Undescribable, guys, how good this rib is. Both of them are really good. I thought this one was really good, the one with the SPG, but look at that, guys. Look how tender. Look at how tender this is. Look at this. Again, both of them are good, guys, but I think the one with the Victory Lanes uh, rubs has an upper hand. So thanks again, guys. See ya.